Hey everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here at North Texas Dental Surgery Wisdom Teeth and Denture Implant Center, and I want to talk about all on four prosthetic options. Okay, so when we talk about prosthetic options, I'm talking about the teeth and what they're made out of because there are different types of materials and that can have a significant impact on the cost and also the longevity and essentially problems of your prosthesis. So basically, the whole reason why you're probably doing this is because you're looking at avoiding problems, right? You want to make sure that you have a beautiful smile. You want to be able to, you know, chew, um, also at an affordable price. But also you want to do is like, you want to make sure that you don't have any long-term issues. Like at least in my 10 years of practice, um, a lot of patients are frustrated about something. And obviously if we're going to be investing in something like this, we want to avoid long-term issues. Now there's two different, like, well, essentially you could call them three different options. Um, the first two options involve the use of acrylic, which is plastic. Um, in dentistry, we call it PMMA. Uh, but in regards to when you get any prosthesis made, um, when you go home, you had your surgery, you're going home with teeth that day, they are going to be PMMA, acrylic, plastic. It's all the same stuff. And so basically what it is, is denture teeth that are molded in with a gum-like looking material and you know this has a certain thickness to it but over the course of the next like let's say four or five months while you're healing and again it's important that we wait that four or five months of healing to allow your bone and gum to properly adjust to its final shape and also to allow the healing of the dental implants but during that time um, what can happen to your plastic pmma acrylic prosthesis is that you can um, experience some breakage uh, your prosthesis can break because again this is made of plastic your teeth can break off um, all these other issues can develop staining um, bacterial plaque buildup can occur on this prosthesis so again this is just an interim i want to send out a warning that this is very important that patients understand if they don't know too much about all in four a lot of times when people might watch tv commercials billboard ads or see google ads they might see an all on four being priced at a very low price and essentially i hate to tell you this but this is a bait and switch and what this typically is, is a PMA prosthesis. This is a temper, te like a, an acrylic temporary prosthesis. The issue with it, again, is that most likely what you'll see is that a tooth breaks off or the denture can break. And although that the price is very attractive, but this leads to real big long-term issues. Another issue that I didn't talk about also is that there can develop these gaps underneath because as your bone and gum are developing and a patient is stuck with this prosthesis, they might have spent twelve, fifteen thousand dollars, sixteen thousand dollars to get this temporary prosthesis as a final prosthesis. But what they're going to start noticing is the food starts getting caught underneath here, giving bacterial issues. Patients get frustrated because they feel the food getting underneath there. Patients going to be at work, or they're going to be on a business trip, and a tooth breaks off, or overall the whole prosthesis breaks through. That is a problem with getting this as a um, final prosthesis. Again, during the interim, it is a necessary evil that you wear this. But again, over the long haul, you want to make sure that you don't have this. Now, the second like option that we're going to break into is again, this was just your temporary. During your temporary prosthesis healing time, everybody has to wear this. Okay. Now, in the future, what you can then get is um, a hybrid prosthesis, which is titanium and acrylic or you can get a zirconia prosthesis. And let me explain the differences between those two. So a titanium hybrid prosthesis is a, also a PMMA prosthesis, meaning there's a titanium bar with this acrylic baked on top. Now, the only difference and why um, that's different from the interim prosthesis is that when it has that titanium core in here, which you can't see, is that it makes this prosthesis so much stronger. However, one of the issues is, is that over time, your teeth can still wear as you're chewing and grinding on your teeth. And so again, because this is made of plastic, they recommend that every five to seven years that you need to get your teeth replaced. So what they'll do is they'll take all this acrylic off the titanium core, and then they'll again, rebake on um, the prosthesis so that it looks like natural gums and teeth. So you wanna do that every five to seven years. Also, another reason why you might need to get that done is not just the wear and tear, but also staining that can occur too. If you drink wine, coffee, your uh, prosthesis can actually stain also. So that's another thing that you need to worry about. Um, so those are basically the drawbacks of that prosthesis. Now, let me show you a quick image of what I'm talking about. So this is a patient that showed up at my practice, I think like a year and a half ago, something like that. Um, 
she had her all on four done at another practice and she wasn't happy about her uh, prosthesis. And um, she already had her implants placed and in that doctor's defense, the implants looked great. But unfortunately, again, she wasn't happy with the prosthesis. So one thing I want to point out real quick is that this patient had only had this prosthesis for several months, but look at all the staining that was occurring on it. Now, you, one may make the argument that she wasn't brushing well enough, which I would totally agree with. But the problem with this PMMA like hybrid prosthesis, again, what you can't see underneath here is that this patient has a titanium bar, but this material plastic just has a tendency to want to attract bacteria and staining. You don't get that with zirconia. And so what I'll talk about is the next option that you have, which is zirconia. Um, zirconia is another type of transitional metal um, prosthesis, but it is just beautiful. Um, honestly, to me, it has better aesthetics than the acrylic prosthesis, but it doesn't have the drawbacks. It doesn't have the staining. It doesn't break. Your teeth aren't gonna break off. Um, it is such a resilient material, excuse me, that the um, over time, like they've even done like microscopic studies, the bacteria, it, it is like the zirconia is such a smooth surface and a highly polished surface that the bacteria doesn't want to attach to it. So that's great not only for staining, um, but also for the wear aspect because it is such a strong material. And also um, from the aspect of cleanliness over the long term, because Underneath, on the underside of the prosthesis, you're not going to attract as much bacteria, which is definitely going to make sure that you don't have any issues over the long haul. So here at North Texas Dental Surgery, you know, you know, a patient might ask, like, well, what do you recommend? So we only recommend zirconia. In fact, that's the only prosthesis that we will do. Now, keep in mind, during the healing period, you do have to have your normal acrylic PMMA uh, prosthesis that you're going to have to wear for several months during that healing period. but. As your final prosthesis, we only do zirconia. The reason being is that we don't want you to so uh, suffer from the issues of the staining and the teeth breaking off, but also the wear aspects too. Um, again, we just want that zirconia prosthesis looking as beautiful on year five or year 10 as it does on day one. We can't really do that with the hybrid prosthesis. And the other issue that we notice with the hybrid prosthesis is again, everybody has different you know, functioning patterns, how hard they bite down, how they're chewing their foods and stuff like that. So we don't want you to be experiencing going to um, a trip, a business meeting, or before a business meeting you're about to take off, or you're on vacation and your tooth breaks off, right? That is an unacceptable um, compromise where basically suddenly you want, you're in a rush to get it fixed, you're trying to call us in a sudden rush to make an appointment with us. And so it not only is a very large frustration for the patient, but now um, on the backside for us, we want you to be satisfied too. So now we're trying to, um, you know, open up an appointments for, so where you can come in. So um, it just ends up being um, an inconvenience for both of us, quite frankly. So what we did is that zirconia typically, in regards to pricing, you'll see that um, zirconia is the most expensive prosthesis. But what we did was to make sure that you get the benefit of zirconia, we just discounted that price down to the, about the cost of a hybrid prosthesis. I know a lot of other people don't do that, but honestly, I've seen a lot of satisfied patients by doing the zirconia with them. So I'm just not willing to compromise and do a hybrid titanium prosthesis for patients because it's just gonna be a pain in the butt for you over the long haul. So to sum it up, um, one aspect in regards to cost too, obviously um, this temporary is gonna be your cheapest option. You're gonna see it honestly online. Again, just remember this is the bait and switch. Uh, a lot of patients are going to probably price it between twelve to eighteen thousand dollars. I have no idea. You can do your research. A lot of people are going to price it between there. And in all honesty, it's not worth it, guys. Do not do that option because you're going to have a lot of teeth breaking off. One of my employees at one of my offices actually used to work for another office where she used to work front desk for an all on four center, and she did mention that they used to do that technique. The doctor did that technique, that bait and switch technique at that office. So a lot of patients would invest this amount of money. I think they probably sell them for like twelve and a half to fifteen thousand dollars at that office, and later on their whole prosthesis would be breaking. They'd be calling her for an emergency appointment to want to come on in. Hey, my tooth broke off, or my whole my denture broke, and it's like kind of hanging there. I need to come in immediately. Patients come in, they're kind of frustrated and upset, and they're like, Hey, why did this even happen in the first place? I spent all this money. Wasn't this supposed to be like a permanent replacement? And unfortunately, they really didn't, they got the, uh, you know, um, they, they weren't really explained from the, the beginning in regards to what the drawbacks were. So 
that is one of the big drawbacks of just a acrylic PMMA with no titanium bar understructure. Um, and then the hybrid prosthesis, the titanium bar with the acrylic prosthesis, you know, again, the prices differ. You might see probably like sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000, maybe like, I, I mean, I've done some of my research, but I'm probably guessing about maybe $17,000 to $20,000. Um, again, I don't think you're going to be too happy with that over the long haul. And plus, five to seven years later, when you need to take all the teeth and the gums off and you need more maintenance, um, staining, all these other issues and teeth still potentially breaking off, um, it's just not as worth it in all honesty. And then the last option is going to be the zirconia. And to me, that's the big thumbs up in regards to um, what, how resilient that material is, how beautiful it looks, and not having any longer term issues. So definitely my recommendation is going to be zirconia um, just because of the, the bacterial aspect and how strong it is too. In regards to pricing on that, you know, also doing your research, um, you'll probably see anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars for that type of prosthesis. So hopefully you guys found that information helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave any comments below, or feel free to come on in for a consultation. We're more than happy to answer any questions for you. Thanks.